Uh, the Department of, of War Studies is, is famous around the world for being uh, uh, the place to come if you want to study security and conflict in all of its dimensions. Uh, so the department was founded uh, 50 years ago. It was built on an ideal which is uh, if you want to understand conflict and security it, you have to combine all the different disciplines. So not just military history and political science which is what you can get in other places but here in this one department we look at it from the point of view also of sociology, of psychology, of law. Students would come to King's because it combines the best of the old and the new. Uh, King's has a rich heritage and tradition, it's a place of great achievement, grand buildings, you see it all around, uh, but it also is what you expect, it's a, gl it's a global university. Uh, we recruit the best scholars from around the world and accordingly we attract the brightest and most inquisitive students uh, from around the world. Roughly in terms of our student body, about 25% uh, will be from um, outside of the United Kingdom. It's, it's, you know, our classrooms reflect London, uh, they're truly cosmopolitan places, uh, as indeed do our faculty. And that's part of actually the energy that we get in terms of the department, the different perspectives that both students and faculty bring. And that's what makes this really such a rich learning environment and such an exciting place also to teach. Student learning experience uh, in King's War Studies is um, it's very rich, it's very dynamic, uh, it's for a few reasons. Uh, we have an endless stream of uh, visiting speakers. Uh, we do about three or four events a week. Uh, these include um, a really exciting scholar practitioners like David Kilcullen talking about counterinsurgency, uh, but also people like uh, the Army Chief of Staff, um, the US Secretary of Defense. Uh, more recently, we've had uh, Kofi Annan, uh, the former Secretary General of the United Nations. Because of our central location, students can avail of all these uh, nearby think tanks and the LSE across the road. So. Literally, students, you know, there are more events than they have time to go to, which means they have tremendous choice. Uh, but the other reason also is because the classroom itself is such a rich environment, and that's principally because of, of the peers. Because not only are you in a classroom with people from all around the world that bring all those perspectives, but also most of our classrooms involve a really healthy mix of practitioners, you know, former soldiers, former diplomats or aid workers, uh, and also more traditional students. And so that creates an incredibly rich environment uh, in which to learn. One of the things that really characterizes our scholarship and therefore our teaching is that uh, most of us um, do work engaging with policy and practice. Uh, so whereas academics tend mostly to stay in ivory towers, here in more studies we venture far out. And so be that uh, people like Brooke Rogers that does very interesting experiments on, on counterterrorism and Birmingham simulation events, uh, or people like uh, Michael Goodman, who works with the intelligence services, or Thomas Ridd, who, who works uh, with on uh, cyber security, or indeed myself, uh, who works in Afghanistan. And so when he last year was, was in Afghanistan doing work for the commander of, of international forces. So most of us in the department, in our research, uh, involves working with practitioners and policymakers. And that experience we bring back into the classroom enriches our teaching and of course students are made of that. So our students when they graduate they go on to careers typically in the military, in the diplomatic service, um, in international organisations and international non-governmental organisations of charities and also in the private sector and principally in um, consultancy and risk analysis also for private security companies and also quite a few will go in uh, to the media and finally, obviously, uh, we, we tend to have to find many of our students go off to work in think tanks in Washington or Berlin, here in London or back in Delhi. I mean, London's an absolutely superb city to come uh, as a student. Um, it's truly one of the great capitals in the world. Uh, it's a political, financial, cultural uh, major centre in the world. Uh, so in addition to, you know, obviously what you study, which is politics and, you know, we're just up the road from Whitehall and Westminster. Uh, but if you're interested in restaurants, bars, culture, sport, uh, all these things, uh, you can have them all in London on your doorstep. So it's an absolutely superb, rich, uh, very exciting city actually to be living in and to be a student in.